everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today, we are experimenting and I have some lovely Alaris pumps and they are going to be helping me explore the Alaris software of what we have on here and what does it do. Now, when you upgrade Alaris software, you can go between this revision, that revision, whatever, between certain revisions of the PCB, the control board. But I've noticed uh, a few other things going on and that's why I wanted to make this video to kind of share it with you. So I know that there's like four boards that we upgrade software to and normally there are four different cards when you do a software upgrade. But not all the boards that I know of get a revision in order for a software upgrade. So let's say I'm going from 9.5 to 9.12. Well, I can make the device 9.12 without upgrading or flashing the other boards. Interesting. I don't know what that will do because 9.12 reflash devices seem to be working just fine. They're detecting all the different modules as they should. Um, the other boards that are getting flash upgraded normally are going to be your power supply, there's uh, the front panel, there's your CPU, and something else. And I'll show you that in a minute. We'll go in, we'll take a look at the software revision. But I want to share with you guys some of my experiments with Alara software. Now these ones here are my demo units, all right? These ones here are just for me to play around with. So I just want to share with you guys some of the nuances of Alara software and what's going on. So let's go ahead and take a look at how I can upgrade the software by copying it from another unit. It's true, I can do it, and it seems to be working. So let's go ahead and take a look. All right guys, this is my workstation. I've got it all kind of set up. And I've got a program here called HDD Raw Copy Tool, which it copies everything that you would normally need, blank spaces, you know, things that are DRM, digital rights management, it copies all that raw from one to the other. And I have this here, which is a USB compact flashcard reader. So what I initially do is I come over here and I create a file, like this one here is called 07, and I copy all the data from my memory card straight over as a backup. So I have a backup of this guy. And what I went and did is I made a copy of all these different revisions. I've got 9.1, 9.12, I've got 9.5, I've got 9.33, and I've, I've got a couple others, I think. But I made copies of them using this tool, so I have an image saved on a folder. And what I do is I put in a memory card, and I burn the new image to it. So now it thinks it's 9.12, but then I have to copy over some serial number information on top of what I just burned. So let's go ahead and take a look. I've got number seven right here. I already made a copy of it in this folder. And the folder that's really important is this one right here called app data. See that? And then we go into medley. And the really important file is this unit info dot dat. That is your serial number. So here, let me go ahead and back out. Data. Okay. So let's stay right there on that. And over here, my image. Here, let's just go ahead and do it from scratch. So uh, you can see I've been exploring in a hex editor to see what's going on in some of these files. Here, let's ignore that. Okay, Alara software. And you can see some of the copies that I have right here. Right here's my program, HDD raw copy, 1.1 portable. So I'll load the program. Yes. And the first thing I'm going to do is tell it to load my image file, which is the very bottom line and I'll select 9.12, open, and I, this is the source. Now I click continue, and now it says select the target. So I'm going to select my 65 megabyte right here, 
and I'll come over and click continue. And then I click start. It says, would you like to wipe it? Yes, I would. Start. And this is only 64 megabytes, so it's actually pretty quick. The slowest thing about it is that it's recording to a compact flash. Compact flash is a slower type of medium. So here we go. And if you're burning multiple, you can keep this window open because it'll just go back and then this start button will light up. There you go. And now I can just pop in another card and another card and another card and keep burning them. All I have to do is click the start button right there and I can do multiples, but I'm not going to do multiples today. So what I am going to do is this is my backup folder right here. I'm going to go ahead and let's, let's copy all that stuff. And I'm going to pop out the card and I'm going to pop the card back in, which should pop up a window right there. I'm going to go into app data, medley, and here is all my stuff. I'm going to delete them all, including that folder, delete, yes, and then I'm going to paste. Now I normally only have to paste this one file right here called unit info.dat. We're going to experiment right now. We're going to see if I can paste everything in there and still get the same result. So now the serial number has been transferred over to this little card right here. And now we come over here and we install it. All right. And to install the software part, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay the front panel down slightly. I'm going to shimmy this board to bring it out. We're going to install the compact flash. Make sure it's all the way inserted. Place the board back up where it needs to be. Right. Make sure to seat these connectors here and here. And make sure this metal tab is out in the front so it's not shorting anything out. I'm going to set the unit up. Okay. Now we're going to power it up. And it takes a while when you go to boot it for up after a software upgrade. And what I think it's doing, I, I think it's reflashing firmware in other places. And it says network com error, confirm. So what the network com error is, is that is an error code which relates to the MAC address and it's a security precaution. So when you upgrade the software on these guys, it wipes out the network security. And since it wiped out network security, you basically have to go through and reload the package using a laptop and the original software. So every account should have a network security package and you're going to have to load that up. But for the most part, the device is ready to go. So I hit options, I'm going to go to page down, check software. You can see my main processor is now at 9.12. It was at 9.5, which is no longer supported. Main boot block is at 9.1. PCU keyboard is 8.15. And the power supply is at 8.15. So these ones here look like they haven't been upgraded in a while. So let's go ahead and exit out. Options, page down, serial numbers, and my serial number now matches the case. Pretty crazy, huh? So I'm just curious what you guys think about that. It's a quick and easy software upgrade. 
and it seems to work absolutely fine. Yep. So it seems to work and the serial numbers are matching. It will pass the PM no problem. And I'm at 9.12. Anyway, guys, I've been experimenting with these for a little bit and I hope you found this a little bit informative. The software on these Alaris pumps is, it's uh, a curious beast because it flashes several different boards but apparently to go from 9.5 to 9.12, I can burn it onto multiple memory cards and then just copy over that one file that I pointed out, which is unit data. Copy that one file over, although in this video I copied over everything, you don't need to do that. Just that one file, copy it over, and it will give you the network error, but that's fine because the network error, you can just reset that by connecting to a laptop, reloading the security profile, and you're good to go. So. 9.12, quick and easy, as far as I can tell. Thanks for watching, guys.